Okay, so over in settings.php, we need to pick up this name variable. So we can go ahead and check if this is set, first of all. Now I'm not going to be creating a lot of validation in this tutorial for the purpose of time. Uh, I want to explain other things that are more relevant. It's up to you really how you validate this name field, uh, this name value here. Um, obviously you want to check if, it, if something's been typed in or not and uh, by all means go ahead and apply other validation methods or apply the validation within settings.php entirely up to you uh, but in this tutorial we're not going to be covering it. So I'm going to create a new variable called name and I'm going to assign this value that we've taken from um, this post data. Remember we're posting to this settings.php file. Now I'm going to apply some relevant uh, sanitization. The first one is HTML entities and this will remove any HTML, um, literal HTML uh, code from here and, and cr create it and turn it into entities. Uh, this means that the HTML will be displayed rather than actually um, interpreted by the browser. And I also want to uh, include the MySQL real escape string function. Because we're posting to our database, we need to ensure that we first of all protect from SQL injection. And with HTML entities, we're uh, preventing e uh, cross site scripting, so XSS attacks. Okay, so the only validation here I'm going to do is if. Uh, no, we won't, we'll stick not, we won't do validation. We'll just uh, go ahead and update the database. So I'm going to create a new variable called update, and this is going to hold the query. Uh, that we're going to use to update this value here to um, the value that we've uh, submitted here, name. So the query would be update users. Remember our table is called users. And I'm going to set name equal to name where user ID is equal to, and just outside here, append on our session user ID. So let me just go and explain this for those of you that are unfamiliar with how uh, a query in this case would work. However, I'm sure you are because jQuery is a, a language that's most often um, used alongside PHP. So we're updating the users table and we're setting the name field to name, but the condition with our where clause is where the user ID is equal to this particular session. Now this would usually be something that you uh, that you, has been defined as the user has logged in, so you know depending on their user ID. However, in init.php, remember we defined this ourselves just for the sake of not going through uh, a login a new uh, registration process or a login process. So we're just updating this name here next to this ID, so where it matches. It's a unique ID. I should have probably mentioned beforehand that this user ID field is uh, an auto increment field, so it's unique every time a new row, is, a new record is added, and um, it's also a primary key. So if I was to go ahead and insert a new value, for example, Billy, uh, you can see that when we browse to the data, the user ID is now two, and the name is now Billy. So we can test this out a bit later once we've updated this name. We can go ahead and update this one as well. Okay, so now what we want to do is check if this update query has completed properly. So if update is equal to true, this means that the uh, query has uh, succeeded. So we can echo out settings have been updated. Otherwise, we want to say if, we'll just do a uh, an if else if statement. Um, if update is equal to false, echo could uh, or there was an error updating your settings okay so now what's happening is um, we are just well we've, we've performed the query which is uh, we've already explained and we're just checking if update is equal to true or false and giving the uh, message uh, appropriately so this message here or this message here depending on whether the query is run successfully or not will now be uh, put into this data here, 
which we then add into uh, our save status or we override the current text which is the loading sign or text and we put that into save status so now that we've done that we should uh, retrieve well we should receive this message message unless I've created the query wrong and then we should receive this error message or have this error message display um, just here. So let's go ahead and first of all uh, refresh this so we know that the data is here. So we've got the current value is Alex Garrett. If I then put in, for example, my name is Alex G rather than Garrett and click save, it says settings have been updated. Now you didn't see the loading symbol because this query is extremely simple and performed or was executed or run extremely quickly so we didn't see the loading um, thing here the loading text here that we placed in between clicking the button and actually retrieving the results so in a minute we'll create um, a sleep well, well we'll call the sleep function in PHP so this will become a bit clearer now when I go and go ahead and browse you can see that that value has now been changed to Alex G so we know this is working so let's say that the user has logged in as Billy as a oh, instead of Alex. 